While lockdown may have put the brakes on many aspects of life, it's had the opposite effect on cycling. Since March last year, there's been a biking boom. The number of people taking it up has increased by 47% on the year before. Morgan Grieve from Hoik is one of them. So I'd never really cycled before, before lockdown, total novice. So it's been really good to get out on the bike through lockdown because uh, the bells put challenges up and it gives you gives you something to do, gives you a target. So it's good to get out and clear your head and when you're stuck in the house all day or work or whatever, it's good to be outside. The Hoik Bells have gained around 20 new members since the start of lockdown and with the many benefits of cycling, they say it's no surprise its popularity has surged. I think it's amazing, but it doesn't really surprise us because, to be honest, cycling has been my sanity. <laughs> I think I've probably have been out about twice or thrice a week. Um, I mean, I've been working from home, so when you get outside and in our borders countryside, it kind of changes things for a little while. It totally just takes your mind off it. This social enterprise in Tweed Bank restores and resells old or unwanted bikes and many of their customers last year were those taking up cycling for the first time. They also ran a bike lending scheme used by key workers. From March 19 to March 20, we had around about 500 units uh, bicycles go out the door. But from uh, March 20 to March 21, we had 739 units. So I'd, that's quite a dramatic increase in bikes. Cycling Scotland has cited many reasons for the increase and say local initiatives such as the new 20 mile an hour speed limits on Borders roads could help maintain it. I think initially there was uh, fewer cars on the road and cleaner air and there was a great emphasis on uh, cycling or doing other activities to get fresh air to get outside. Steps like 20 miles an hour as well as protected cycle lanes can really make a difference. It's hoped that once life does get back to normal, this trend will perhaps be one positive legacy from the pandemic. Claire McNeil, ITV News.